Hey friends, welcome back to Doggy Disguises. Today we're going to draw a dog dressed as a mailman with those fake little foamy arm things. They're way too much fun and so cute when you see them in real life. So let's go ahead and draw this little cutie. So I'm going to kind of squeeze my a little postal um, worker Maltese in this corner here, um, but you're work welcome to fit it, you know, wherever you would like. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make the hat on our postal worker. And then we're going to draw a slightly curved line and then another curve that goes down. And this is going to be the hat. We can add a little badge. I don't know, I kind of want to add just like a paw. Okay, and now I'm going to draw some kind of zigzag lines going out. This is going to be the ears, and then just a zigzag line going down and connect. And then let's make our eyes pretty close to the top where the hat is. And then our nose. And then we're gonna make, almost looks like mustache, but we're gonna make two lines that go down, but I like to do them in a kind of a, a wavy lay, way just to make it look a little bit more realistic to the actual texture of a Maltese. And let's do a nice wide tongue. And then just a little more of a curved line underneath. Curved zigzag. Okay, so what makes this picture, this dog really funny is that it has fake um, arms that are holding like a package, uh, which is just funny and weird. So we're gonna make the fake hands now. So we're gonna do a curved line and they're gonna face each other like this. And these are gonna be the hands, quote unquote. The fake hands. <laughs> And then let's go ahead and make it look like there is a box in those in those hands. <laughs> My daughter kept saying, "But wait, how is how is that doggy standing on his back legs?" And I was trying to explain that actually these are not there. But um, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the front, and so we're gonna draw two curved lines. This is gonna be like the the shirt. Now we really can't see the arms coming out because we're looking at it straight on. This is called foreshortening. If you want to do some curve lines that go back, you can. Um, it's really not necessary. And then this is where the real dog's real legs are. So we're going to draw two legs or pairs of pants. <laughs> And then right underneath, and I'm running out of uh, room because of my doggy underneath from yesterday. Um, but that's where the dog's real feet are. So these are the real feet. And then this is like the pretend feet. If you want it to look a little bit more like a package, um, you could put, we could put some like tape or something on it. And then the real dogs, um, would be standing back. So we really might not be able to see the rest of the body, but if you just so, you know, we know the, the body would be going back here and then the other leg would really just kind of be uh, in the back there. And I could just do like a little fluffy tail. So that would be open. <laughs> All right. There is our postal worker, Pupperino. Pretty cute. I love it. All right. I hope you enjoyed our drawing today. Come back tomorrow for another fun one. See you then. Thank you.